good job. Sunshine and ravioli. Macaroni. If you want the thing you love. You did it! Congratulations! World's best cup of coffee. Great job, everybody. It's great to meet you. Hi. Come over here, boy. Good morning, everyone. Happy Vlogmas Day 10. Today is December 10th. Great things are going to happen today. I have class right now. It's already, it's gonna start in seven minutes and I'm not there yet. Um, it's for my UGBA international trade class. We have final presentations this week. I'm not sure if today is the last day or Thursday. Very annoying that we have class during dead week when we're not supposed to, but on the bright side, we don't have in-class finals. So that is amazing. I already did my presentation. So basically my job is to just sit there and ask questions. I'm going to quickly make some chai tea and then head out the door. Hello, I just got out of class. One of the things that I wanted to talk about today throughout this vlog is ways to prep for finals and ways to prep for studying. I know not every college has an entire week dedicated to studying, so this would be just like in preparation for finals and in preparation for studying in general. I need a list. The first thing on my list is to make sure that you have healthy groceries and healthy snacks on hand. I feel like that is so important. It's incredibly important to be feeding your body with good food while you're working your brain extremely hard. Right now, I'm about to head to Trader Joe's. I have my grocery bags with me and I need to get some fruit and some vegetables. I have like salmon and chicken at home so I don't need to get a ton of food but I do need to get like some to-go salads and stuff like that so I'm going to bring you all along because I think that's super important gotta feed your body with good food I am all about eating junk food and eating hot Cheetos for breakfast I do that sometimes which is so bad but during dead week during finals I seriously try to feed my body with good food I'm going to get some green juice. I like this one better, but it has more sugar, so I'm gonna get a couple of these for on the go. Oh my gosh, this is so random. Nog flavored? Oh heck, I love you Trader Joe's. I love eggnog, we're gonna try this. Always need almond milk. I really, really wanna get eggnog right now but I don't think I'm going to. My favorite salad in the entire world. I'll get a Caesar salad as well. These are fire, they're so good, and they are zero grams of sugar, you love that. I've never tried these before, so we'll get one. Fruits. I'm gonna get some raspberries. Raspberries are always good. Also got some apples. I'm gonna grab some, what are these called? Chicken finger type things? You know, for when you can't be bothered to cook. Update, I ate lunch right when I got home. I was starving. I had a salad and some sourdough bread. It's 2.28 right now. I have work at three, from three to five, so not very long. But, I'm so tired! I got 8 hours of sleep last night, but I only got 4 the day prior, so that's probably why I'm still tired. I'm not in the mood to work out today, so I think I'm just gonna come straight home after I work. Since I was saying that this video is going to be dedicated to giving tips on how to prepare to study, another super important tip is to book your study rooms in advance and also set study dates in advance. So I will show you. Um, last week, or yeah, at the end of last week, I booked rooms for this week, and I also made several study dates, and if you use Google Calendar, you can invite people to your study dates so that you keep track of everything. It's very convenient. I would just recommend, like, invite friends, hey, do you want to study on Tuesday? Do you want to study on Wednesday night? 
whatever it might be because setting those times in advance will keep you on a schedule. I have a study date with someone at least once every day and it really just helps keep me accountable because if I don't have those dates set, then I'm just kind of going with the flow. Another tip is to figure out what finals are first and then base your studying on that. I personally like to dedicate like one day for each final at least, so that's what I did. And if you want, you can plan it out even further, like for example, say I'm going to spend two hours catching up on the readings, then I'm going to spend two hours looking at vocabulary, I'm going to take two hours to memorize stuff, two hours to write out note cards, whatever you want to do. If you feel more comfortable doing that, you can do that as well. Overall though, I think the main point is to plan, 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 plan ahead in order to keep yourself on schedule. Okay, and with that, I will talk to you guys after work. I'm not going to record because I am going to be meeting with the professor today and we're going to work together. So I can't really be vlogging during work today. Good morning, everyone. It's the next day. I am about to meet Bobby at Moffitt Library because we're going to study together. It's 9.41. We're meeting at 10 a.m. Getting the day started early, studying early. Outfit is just this cropped white crew neck and then these really cute... Levi's jeans and Nike Air Force Ones. I love Nike Air Force Ones. They're literally my favorite shoes right now. Okay, I made it to the study space. Bobby should be here in a bit. I'm sweating. It's like raining outside, but I was walking, so now I'm sweating. I think I'm gonna get a coffee when she gets here because I, I need to wake up. I feel like I'm in a fishbowl because the windows are open on this side and also on this side so you just have no privacy i love being in these study rooms though because i like having my own space i'm that person i also brought a salad for lunch so i don't have to buy any food i just finished my review for varieties of capitalism such a blast i'm here with bobby we finished our review we she came <laughs> just to chill um, we're just sitting here now. Update, it is 3.04 and we are back at the library. Some random nice people gave us their room. They had it for another hour. We have a booking from four to six, so we're just gonna be here for an hour. It's so gloomy out. Look how sad it is outside today. Hello everyone, I'm back home. I'm honestly exhausted it's 8 p.m now i was on campus from like 10 to 6 then i went out with a friend and now i'm here i'm so tired my eyes hurt from staring at a computer all day Ugh, i think this is the most i've ever studied like early on in the week my entire four years of college not exactly proud of that yeah, my head seriously hurts. I want to sleep very soon. I do need to watch a movie called Inside Job or it's documentary uh, for class. So I might try to do that now since it's still 8 and then maybe I can sleep around 10 or 11. I've been going to sleep pretty early because I've been so tired. So I have two more tips for prepping for finals slash prepping for studying that I think are pretty important. The first one is making sure that you don't get sick. So part of that is eating the right foods. And I would say that a second part is, first of all, sanitizing all the surfaces, especially if you're on campus. Germs are everywhere in the libraries and stuff. Taking vitamin C as a precaution. I love emergency. I mix that either with water or juice. It tastes pretty good to me. Or I take different wellness shots. I picked this one up if you guys saw in my last, oh in this vlog, <laughs> duh. I picked this one up yesterday. Um, it's from Trader Joe's, it's a ginger shot. But I'm gonna take this cause I'm not trying to get sick. I've gotten sick during finals before and it sucks so bad. You're definitely not in the right headspace when you're sick. So I try to do everything that I can not to get sick but it's really hard when you go to a school with so many people. I definitely taste the cayenne pepper. That wasn't too bad. And my last tip for successful study prep is to get good sleep. If you're a person that has trouble sleeping, then 
you know, it's really hard to get a good night's sleep. I totally understand. I would say stay off your phone. I feel like being on your phone is really what prevents you from sleeping even more so. But if you can, try to get a good night's sleep. Eight hours if you can. I am such a fan of getting eight hours of sleep. I get eight hours almost every night, and if not, then I feel it. <laughs> I feel like I've been on so many rants before about sleep. It's so important. Just get some sleep. Those are all my tips that I could think of for prepping to study. Um, but before I end this vlog, I want to open up this package. Okay, so I ordered a couple resistance bands from Band Store, which is Grace Fit UK's company. I love her resistance bands. I have a couple of them already. I actually lost one of them, so I'm replacing it. And I just feel like they really, really add to leg day and booty day. This one is a yellow resistance band. I'm pretty sure this is a heavy strength. I used to have a peach colored one and I don't know what happened to it. I feel like I left it at the gym or something. So I replaced it and got this nice little yellow one. This one is so cute. Look at this. Oh, this one's fancier. This one has like... A really nice logo on it okay yeah this is the extra heavy one I love this print it is so pretty and ooh ooh it's extra heavy so this is this is definitely gonna be a strength that I work up to I will probably stick to this one for a while before I try this one but I'm so excited I love 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 this pattern Alright, on that note, I am going to end this vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did, and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Great things are going to happen tomorrow. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!